Hi guys and welcome to a new video. After 8 months I'm back again together with the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, with the Samsung Galaxy S10 and with the Note 10 Plus. And today we are going to take a look at the official final Android 10 build for the Samsung Galaxy S10, so stay tuned for that. Right guys, so I'm pretty sure that there will be a lot of people who are uh, kind of shocked right now. So this year is the final Android 10 build for the Samsung Galaxy S10. So it's only available for the S10 family right now in Germany who have signed up for the beta test. So it is not public, it's only for those in Germany who have signed up for the beta test. Um, it's available for the S10 family, so it's available for the S10, S10e, S10 Plus and the S10 Plus 5G and um, the Note 10 and the Note 10 Plus, they are still on their beta stages. So the um, final Android 10 build is only available for the S10 family. Right, so now let me confirm you that this one here is running on Android uh, on the final Android 10. So here you can see that the uh, One UI version is 2.0, the Android version is Android 10. Here we have this uh, Android 10 Easter egg. Here we have the kernel version and this here is the build number. Right, so this here is the final Android 10 and today we are basically going to compare this final Android 10 to the uh, last beta and to Android Pi which we got on the Galaxy S9 Plus on the left side. And yeah, so now let's start. So to be honest, I don't really even know where to start this video because there are so many differences between Android 10 and Android 9. So the uh, general appearance is almost the same. So the icons look the same, the animations are almost the same, the design is almost the same and the features are also almost the same even though Android 10 has got a lot of new features inside. Um, but there are some small stuff, there are a lot of small features which are new, uh, exclusive to Android 10, which Android 9 did not have in the past. So, in this video I'm gonna show you all the small things I was able to find, and yeah. Right guys, so now let me take the Note 10 Plus by side, because we want to compare the One UI version to to the One UI version 1, which is running on this S9 Plus here on the left side. And you can see that the general appearance or the design looks almost the same on both. You can see the icons are the same, the weather widget is the same, the way it works is also the same. You can see the gesture hints here at the bottom are also the same here. Um, even though you can change the gestures on Android 10, we're gonna talk about that later on. And yeah, so the way One UI works is the same. I mean, you can pull down a notification panel and you can see that your um, toggles are still at the bottom. So you got your information area and your interaction area. And here in the, um, in the notification menu, you can see that there are some small things which have been changed. So the clock, for example, moved to the left. So in Android 9, it used to be in the middle. The three um, icons here are still the same, even though the um, triad menu got some new stuff there. So you got the contact us um, shortcut there, which used to be there in the betas as well. And they did not remove this option in the final build, unfortunately, but it may go away with uh, the next updates in a few weeks. You still got your status bar, settings uh, shortcuts there and there's something new which is called quick panel layout so here you can enable or disable the media control section and you can also enable or disable the uh, brightness control on uh, the top here the media control was not there so you were not able to control your connected devices in android 10 by just pulling down the notification panel. But I have to say that the way this here works is a bit annoying. So in order to check your uh, Bluetooth headset, for example, you need to pull down once, then you need to press on this devices thing here, and then you will need to select your device, which is a bit frustrating because it takes a lot of time. In Android 7, for example, or in Android 8, it was much easier to use because you were not forced to press here and go to another 
uh, application and so on. It was much easier. So the way this here works is not that nice if you ask me, but it's nice that it's here again. Something which is also quite uh, unfortunate is that you cannot change the grid size anymore. So here in Android 9, you were able to change the button grid to uh, a different ratio. So you were able to change it to three by three, and then you basically had nine toggles, and instead you were able to scroll between your toggles here. It's not possible on Android uh, 10 anymore, so you can't change the grid size. You have to stick with uh, this four by four button grid but you can still change your button order and um, add some new buttons for example and you can see that the button order here is always four by four you cannot change the button order on android 10 unfortunately you can still uh, hide some toggles and make it look like four by three but um, i mean if you have more than 12 toggles it will always be four by four and you cannot change that unfortunately here in the notification panel, we have also got some small changes. So we got a lot of small changes in total. I cannot show you all of them. For example, if you go to the sub menu here in the auto rotate section, you can see that you are able to um, rotate to the landscape mode in the lock screen. Here, as you can see, it's not possible. There are a lot of small new features here and there, and uh, it's pretty hard to find all of them. So if you enable this one here, you can also rotate your uh, lock screen, as you can see. Looks nice. You can't do this on the S9, I think. Um, yeah, it's a small change here. Right, after talking about the status panel, now let's go to the settings. And here you can see the settings app itself still looks pretty identical. You can see you still got your information area on both and your interaction area. So you don't need to go all the way up in order to go to a uh, subcategory. Um, yeah, the way it works is still the same, but there are some new things in the settings application. For example, if we go to the display section and then to the navigation bar section, right? There's a new option in the full screen gesture. So you can see we have a new button which is called more options. And if you press there, you can enable these Android 10 iOS style navigation gesture. So you can see you only get one gesture hint there, this uh, bar, and the way it works is almost the same, just like in iOS. So you need to pull up, in order to close the application, pull up and hold in order to go to the recent apps or um, basically do this gesture to swipe between your applications. You can also swipe on the bottom edge here in order to go between your applications, which is a really nice feature, but this won't work if you have uh, disabled gesture hints. So if you disable the gesture hints, you cannot swipe on the bottom edge in order to uh, swipe between your or switch between your apps, which is kind of unfortunate. So you need to turn you need to turn this on in order to swipe here on the bottom edge. And the back gesture has also been changed. So in order to go back, you don't need to pull it up from the right bottom here. You just need to um, do this gesture. So you need to swipe from the edge to the middle, and it does not matter from which side you do it. It will work on both here. Um, you can also change the uh, sensitivity of this gesture, which is also kind of nice. And yeah. Right, so that's it. Um, of course, you can still use your normal navigation buttons, which is also really nice. So there are a lot of people who still use this uh, option because they basically can't get used to uh, this one here. Um, something which is kind of unfortunate here is that you cannot set the animations and the developer options to 0.5. So if you do so, and if you go to the recent apps panel, you can see there was a animation bug here. And here we have it again. So this is something which happens when you set the animations to 0.5. So you cannot set the animations to 0.5 if you are using this um, gesture controls. So something different which has been changed is in the wallpapers um, section. So if you go there, you can see the section is made like iOS again. So you can see your uh, lock screen wallpaper and your home screen wallpaper. And you can, uh, you can 
check your wallpapers you can use your uh, wallpapers from your gallery which is really nice so in android 9 if you press on um, the wallpapers and themes uh, section it had it used to open the galaxy themes app which was a bit annoying but now they have changed it and made it look like ios which is definitely a good thing so now let's uh, go forward and you can see that um, there are some new categories here so um, the uh, location category is not available here in uh, the home screen of the settings if you take care of your location data this is something which is really nice for you um, you can also see that they've changed the colors here and there for example you can see this key has got a blue color on android 10 while it used to be orange in android 9 so there are some small changes as i've told you if you go to the advanced features it looks almost the same here you got your bixby routines on the galaxy s10 and um, you also got um, this bixby key features but i still don't use it to be honest i'm using the um, bixby key remapping app which provides you more uh, more features for your bixby key so I would not recommend to use the normal stock features of the Bixby key. There's also something which is called link to Windows. So this is a um, nice thing if you have got a Windows PC. So every time when you, if you enable this feature, you will basically have all your data automatically on your PC as well. So for example, if you take a picture, you need to wait 10 seconds or so, and your picture will also be monitored on your computer which is a really nice thing so i personally don't use it because i'm still using this old school method with uh, the cable and so on so if you like to try out something new this is def definitely something very nice something which is also new is this option here it's called screenshots and screen recorder and it's also available here in uh, the notification panel so we have this um screenshot toggle where is it here it's called screen recorder and you can go here and record your screen together with android 10 which is really nice you can also set the video quality here up to 1080p and you can enable the sound or enable the media controls only or enable it using the microphone and the system sounds which is really nice um and if you are recording a video, it's it's really amazing because um, this here is definitely the best video recorder I've ever seen. Let me show it to you. So when the video recorder starts, you get this small toolbar, which is not recorded in the video. And you can press on there and write on the screen or... You can also enable the camera from here and so this toolbar is not visible in your video recording which is really nice so this is definitely the best video recorder i've ever seen on a phone um yeah all right so now let's go back and let's move on to the digital well-being section so this uh feature was there in android 9 as well but it was only available on the S10. So the S9 here, which I have got on the left side, hasn't got this feature. So um, this feature was present on the S10 family only. And together with Android 10, they have redesigned this digital well-being thing. Um, I actually don't use it that much, but here you can basically get some um, information about your usage. How long did you use your phone? How often did you unlock your phone? and stuff like that which is really nice if you are uh, if you think that you're phone addicted this is a really nice uh, way to stop your uh, phone addictiveness right so this should be it there is actually nothing else uh, we can talk about in the uh, settings section i think so of course the differences are not only in the settings uh, section you can also open the camera and you can see that the camera interface has also got a small redesign um you still have this bixby uh, screen optimizer here i still don't know how it works and um, they've also moved bixby vision and ar emoji to uh, the, to the right side here which is really nice because they annoyed me a lot in android uh, 9 to be honest 
Um, yeah, so you can see it looks like that. You can still uh, do this gesture to uh, to switch your camera. The settings is also looking the same here. Of course, the S10 has got a few more features than uh, the S9. Yeah, so that's the camera. Something uh, which is really nice is that the S10 got all the features the Note 10 uh, had. So the S10 of the uh, the camera of the S10 has improved, or there are basically more features with Android 10 for the S10, which is really nice. Something which I almost forgot is that you have got this motion photos now together with Android 10. I am not pretty sure, but I think it's like the one which is. Uh, available on the iPhone so if you take a picture it will basically make a small video of that picture and every time when you watch or every every time when you look at this photo you can see the small video while you took that uh, photo which is a nice feature but I actually don't use that right so everything else is almost the same of course there are some small differences here and there for example if you go to the file manager and if you try to install an apk for example so let's install this one here you can see there's a new interface while you are installing this application and so on or if you go to the um, app drawer settings uh, there are also some new uh, features like clean oops like um, clean up pages and it says there are no pages because I only got one page here. Um, so there are some small things. The way the folders look like uh, is also different now. You can see you got a smaller folder right now and your title at the top. You got this uh, plus icon there to add more applications and so on. You can still change the color of your um, folders i like it to be transparent to be honest so let's set it to this color here um yeah so that should be it if you have any questions about the android 10 on the galaxy s10 or on the galaxy note 10 plus i'm here you can also contact me in our telegram group the link for the group will be in the description of the video, like always. You can also contact me on Instagram, but I do not answer to everybody on Instagram because I'm quite busy to, uh, right now with uh, university and so on. So if you have a question, go to our group. There are a lot of people who uh, will help you out uh, of your problems or of your problematic situation. Um, yeah, so that was it. Peace out, guys.